Look, I'm about to read your mind right now. You're probably thinking to yourself, how is a teenager in a gray Nike hoodie supposed to give me any advice? Well, you ignorant piece of shit, sit tight because I'm about to change the way you think. And if you don't believe me, then just click out of this video. First things first, this is a therapy session. Let's start off honest. If you clicked on this video, you're probably just a little bit insecure maybe. You probably overvalue other people's opinions too much. Maybe you care too much about meaningless things. What do I know? All I know is, is that you're probably tired of overthinking all the time. All right, let's begin. You should care about what matters. And that is really my goal, that you only focus on what really matters. So this first video is gonna go over denying all validation. This is the first step in developing this mindset. And when I say deny all validation, I mean mainly positive validation. We must take in others' validation through the opposite perspective of what we would typically do, thus causing the mind to embrace the negative validation rather than avoiding it and ultimately leading it to control you. But to truly be careless to meaningless thoughts and concerns, we must not let others' positive validation form our confidence. Confidence is important as fuck. And this is step one to it. When people compliment us, we often get this sense of instant gratification and this boost of dopamine. But keep in mind, that is only temporary. You don't want to care what others say about you, regardless if it's good or bad. Because then, you will start relying on other people's compliments to form your happiness and confidence. And when we don't have that, what happens? Our self-esteem drops. So to avoid this temporary validation, we can only counter it with what is permanent, which is yourself. You are always with yourself. So if you only need yourself to validate yourself, then you should have a pretty balanced self-esteem. So what you are going to want to do is develop your own self-validation and understand that nobody really gives a fuck about you. I want you to really understand this. Half the compliments you get are 90% bullshit and that person probably envies you or is lying to you. But when we create the ability to validate ourselves and to compliment ourselves, all the external validation won't mean anything to us, especially the negative. For example, next time you see a guy or girl that you know post a somewhat revealing selfie. Think to yourself, why? Why is this person posting this? What is the real reason behind the bullshit reason that they probably made up for the reason that they posted it? The answer is, if we are assuming that that person probably looked good that day and they were probably feeling themselves, they probably felt the need to show their friends and family and peers how good they looked. Their new outfit, that new haircut, that new 20 pounds of makeup, new gym body, whatever. They already validated themselves. But now, they need that validation from other people to boost it even more. And all the comments and likes are giving you this instant gratification. And you feel fucking famous. Don't even lie. The problem here is, is that as you continue to request validation from others, is when they don't comply with your request. Because like I said, no one actually cares about you. You piece of shit. And everyone is too deep in their own shit to care about your selfie or what's going on with you. So when no one actually comments or likes or responds to us, we begin to drop in an endless well of self-doubt. And we again begin to ask ourselves, why? Why did nobody compliment my new haircut, my new outfit, my new tattoo? Blah, 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 blah. And as we continue to post and post and post for more validation, our tolerance keeps going up and it becomes even harder for ourselves to appreciate the validation from other people. We need more likes, more comments, more validation. And keep in mind, this doesn't mean that you can't or shouldn't post selfies and pictures that make you feel good or attractive. But in order to not be disappointed by the outcome, we should expect zero validation, zero responses, so that we have no reason to be upset because we had no expectations to begin with. If anything, we should expect negative validation so that we have zero expectations from other people. As deep down, we know that the only opinion that should really matter to us is ours. And when we do get this validation, it doesn't phase us as much as we would usually let it. And let's be honest, ladies, even if you do post an attractive pic and somebody compliments you, nine times out of 10, you respond with the driest text, but deep down, deep down, you loved that little fucking compliment because it made you feel appreciated. Anyways, the goal of denying positive validation is to develop a trait in your mind that you do not need to rely on anybody's opinion of you, regardless of whether the person's opinion of you 
is positive or negative. When we accept their opinion, it is still their opinion. Meaning that if we easily take in a positive compliment, then we are just as easily going to take a negative comment just as deeply. If someone you admire says something nice about you, you are going to be instantly gratified. But let's say later that same person starts talking shit about you, you are now going to take their negative comment just as deeply as you took their compliment. You're always going to go just as low as you went up. Remember that. There's no crest with no trough. However, if we don't let any validation phase us, then we won't take negative criticism so deeply. Therefore, believe it or not, positive validation is your worst nightmare. Positive validation is not your friend, even worse than negative, which takes us back to negative validation. As if you don't let positive validation impact how you feel, then why should negative validation phase you? Goal here is not to overvalue other people's opinions, regardless of if it's good or bad, and only letting your opinion be the one that counts. When someone compliments you, take it, understand it, but don't put it on a pedestal. Say thank you and continue on with your life, you cocky piece of shit. Only you know what's really going on in that head of yours. And only you know your true intent when you pursue things. So who's to say someone else should tell you how you should feel? I have a validation challenge for you. If you really want to develop this mindset, make a list of all of your insecurities and flaws, address them, and embrace them. Go outside tomorrow with the ugliest outfit that you have and really feel yourself. Go outside with no makeup. Anything that you would usually depend on for other people's acceptance, which we all do, don't do it. The goal is to do the opposite of what you would usually do and enter your doubts and fears in what you would usually perceive as the worst and face them. You can't grow in the comfort zone. But if you don't want to take my advice, then stay insecure. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. And most importantly, expect hate and negativity as you pursue this challenge. Prepare your mind for the bullshit of this world. But deep down, only you know your true intent and only you determine the validation that you feel and only you can allow good or bad validation to really affect you. And the reason why preparation to expect negative validation is actually very important is because it sets the bar to prepare you for the worst as you embark on this. And your mind automatically lowers your expectations. So let's say you end up do getting a lot of compliments. You are more appreciative of them because you had only expected hate. But when you do receive hate and negative validation, the preparation before had set the standard to this negative validation. And if that is your expectation, then it would simply be normal to you. But if you leave the house now and expect to receive a ton of compliments and end up getting a ton of negative validation and hate, you will become obviously sad and disappointed. So really, you really do have to watch yourself and prepare. All right, let's be honest guys. The truth is you clicked on this video because you are seeking happiness ultimately. That's what you want, right? So let me tell you this. Happiness is an equation. Reality minus expectation equals happiness. If you have the lowest of expectations, you will perceive your life as so much better than it is, therefore making you more happy. But if you are expecting too much, you will find yourself disappointed because it works both ways. Too much expectation compared to the actual reality equals disappointment. But fuck that. That's what we are not doing. And when you see how the world reacts to your worst, you will begin to care less about their opinions and really see how meaningless their opinions actually are. If anything, all validation is validation. And all validation is, is external opinions. And you should not rely on this to live your life. Your life is yours and only yours. And the lens which you see life through is so unique to you that anybody's opinion can really only hurt you because it is an opinion and their opinions seen through the lens of others, not yours. So when you see a pair of really nice shoes that you want to buy and you think they're totally fucking awesome, just don't ask your friends what they think because you're not buying the shoes for them, you're buying the shoes for you. So why does it matter what they think about the shoes? Because your friends are capable of giving you like a thousand different opinions and that will only confuse you. Jimmy might tell you that the shoes are actually hella cool and that might be exactly what you wanted to hear. That's exactly what you wanted to hear, right? But then Katie might tell you that they're ugly and you will start to second guess yourself. You're gonna try to find all the flaws in the shoes and all the reasons why you actually shouldn't get it to overall let their opinion consume you until you pass on the shoes. And you'll probably go on asking other people's opinions about the shoes until somebody again gives you positive validation about them that they might like it too so that you then feel good and reassured that, you know what, these are nice shoes, all right? It was just a moment of weakness. It was not a fucking moment of weakness. It was a moment of you listening to other people's opinions. You, from the start, thought they were nice fucking shoes. Just get the fucking shoes. Opinions are strong if we let them be. And a lot of different people will tell you a lot of different things. But when it comes to opinions, not facts, only you can have the right answer. And when we start to let others make decisions for us, we begin to rely on and hand our lives to other people who may not even have their best interest in us. Go live your life on your standards and only request validation 
from yourself. And if you want to know how to prepare, it's as simple as telling yourself that you're ready for all the hate and negative comments and preparing your subconscious mind for the bullshit that we call other people's opinions. And that I will save for the next video. You will fucking learn how to plant seeds in your subconscious mind to overall convince yourself that you really don't give a fuck and just watch how it works. And then thank me later, obviously. And just keep in mind, this is by far the most effective part of this process. Because if you haven't realized already, validation is just judgments and judgments and emotions only live in that big brain of yours so if you want your mind to not put up with this bullshit you need to train your mind and by not putting up with bullshit i don't mean reacting to people who don't like you and start hating on you because that's actually another insecurity that people who care too much do your goal is to not give a fuck and reacting means that you do give a fuck and typically we react to hate truly as a sense of self-pride to show the world how tough we are and how we don't put up with bullshit but believe me the best way to counter this bullshit is actually by silence and not reacting it actually makes your haters even more angry when you're not reacting to them because that's what they want you to do react but i'll get into that later for now just stay fucking tuned and fucking subscribe or don't i actually don't give a fuck i really don't care do whatever you want just remember on the other side of the screen is a future young boss. We are just two young bosses communicating through a video, sitting on the couch or whatever, just fucking vibing and talking. And the first step to becoming a young boss is hitting that fucking subscribe button. Hey. The blues is now kicking and dinner is three Michelin. I don't eat red meat, but still got beef sizzling.